Okay, hey guys, Trish Quitchley today with we're back with Stranger Things episode two. Episode one. I actually enjoyed it quite a lot, to be fair, it was pretty fun. Thought the kid actors were all decent. The story seems nice little change. I like how we got like the uh, we have monsters in this bit more of a supernatural show. Disappearance is going off and we got rid of one of the kids pretty quickly to disappearing, so it kicks off the plot for why the kids want to get involved. I don't know what the kids can do, but I'd be interested to find out and see how they can deal with this situation and see how much of a role they play. Uh, we had the sister storyline, I went too into that. Um I didn't really care for a boyfriend either. He's uh, he just yeah, it seems like the average storyline, but I'm sure she'll have a lot more involvement later on in the show. Yeah, but it definitely uh, sets up his premise. And then we've got the girl. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We've also got the girl. He's got the telekinesis power, which I'm sure she's going to play a massive role in the show. A bit sad about the restaurant guy getting killed, but hey, it just shows the corruption. I'm guessing it's the government. So that's a pretty interesting storyline we're going to go down. But the best way to find out and see how the story progresses is to watch it. I'm going to try and do two a week. So, yeah, feel free to subscribe if you want to see that content. But let's get into this. I'm also doing a Bumbrello Academy as well. <laughs> this guy. Forward. <laughs> Good enough reason to uh, keep her around. Try and hide her. Oh, top, top name there. I guess it's easier to trust people who are the same age as her. I wonder what they did to her in the facility. All the words. You would think it'd be nice enough not to make a pay for missing posters. I wonder where he actually has gone. Is he is he actually dead or not? So many mystery, mysteries already. I know they've done that though. I'm saying you're emotional. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. Ooh, low blow on that. Thought it was dead, mate. Come on. Oh, better that you that bet that uh He's gotta he's gotta collect himself after that in You from uh Lonnie yet? You got a studying last night? Oh he keeps screwing her over. Hey, it's trolley though. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> Not following that plan. Just a bit, kid. I guess it's all the best people to get help would be people her age because they would more likely believe her, whereas adults wouldn't. That was a bit of a dick move. <laughs> not, a, not a time to pull banner like that. I've got a feeling that they do have history though. Right, screwed. Who knows? What a small school. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, guys. <laughs> Kids are dicks. <laughs> He's such a nice guy as well, the kid. New ship. I'm joking. At least she's nice enough. At least she's got nicer morals than her friends. I give her that. She people she hangs around with her dicks. Apart from the nerdy one, I guess. Really, all the best stuff's on there. Joy Division, Bowie, Television, The Smiths. Giving us a bit of a flashback. Get us to know Will a bit more. That we don't need to do that. Hey, this bro got the big morals. I like it. Isn't that cool, eh? An actual good older brother. Do they exist in TV shows these days? That's a good point. Gosh, he's not against him, to be fair. <laughs> That's where he's like, no mate, it draws the line. Never play using that card. Like, if you do worse than 10 years, and you do, like... 
Why the government fucking on the big investigations? Which gives them the, the smart kids, meaning that it's a bit more realistic if they pull stuff off. <clears throat> Well, a lot of people don't use promise in that context anymore, let's be honest. I'm guessing she doesn't like that. She's claustrophobic and doesn't like dark places, I take it. There we go. A bit of flashback. Get a bit more backstory and characters this episode, I reckon. Well, that's definitely damaging to children. I'm disappointed. When I bought a cop, is this not by? Oh, is this the restaurant? Surely they would have hid his body better. Because put a gun in his hand and sat him up. Oh yeah, Mount Parry's a quiet town, isn't it? Not the people you know. God, that, that must suck about a fucking small city town. Like, with big cities, you wouldn't, like I said, you wouldn't know strangers, but with a town like that, you'd know everyone. Oh, where's the gang going with the squad on the bikes? Remember the younger days when he, every, every only way to get around was with the bike. That is weird. <laughs> I like how they, they've got a nice mix. You've got one kid who super believes it. You got Dustin who's just a bit simpler, and then this kid who's more realistic. Like he's more really, he's realistic about the situation. Now you can't blame the way he's reacting. But that will make her believe. No. Oh no, it's believed. You sound it. <laughs> oh. Alright, so he's already a kid. That's alright. We can piece things together. It's always sad that she's using technically using well. Oh. <laughs> the kid's shitting herself. <laughs> Americans love their meat off. Wait, yeah, that is true though. Why do I feel like Barb's gonna get bullied when she's there? Yeah, he does. We could close the door, so maybe freezing in there. We're well, still not heating, you know. Oh, the intense music as we go. The demon. <laughs> Good way to uh, represent this. The bad man. He's going to take a picture and get a picture of the demon or something. I mean, that would be terrifying to go towards in a forest. Oh, is that the half boy? Don't peer pressure. Fuck. Don't 
Don't push it. Show definitely uh, nails intensity. I'll give it that. Just literally breathing in it. Put the phone down. Where are you? Where are you? Right, there we go, let's again. You're not accomplishing anything through those phone calls. You're terrifying though. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, she's gonna die, ain't she? Demon's coming for her. Oh, goodbye, Mum. This show, this show definitely got suspense now, I want to give it that. I'll never be a home alone again after this happening. Demon! It's going to end with something dramatic because we're near the end of the episode. It's going to blow up. Move away from that lamp. Oh, shit. Ooh. What's it doing? Is it just coming through the wall? It's gonna to come towards her. Come on, intense. Why are the windows always down on these sort of things? Get going. I'm just gonna go back and it's a kid. I'm waiting for the jump scare. Don't get out of the car. I respect the bravery, but this is also stupid to think it's Will. I was going to leave her like a mystery, is she dead or not? That's a good way to leave it suspenseful, we don't know what's going to happen to her now. Until the next episode, we're going to find out. You can suspect Barb's trying to be a good friend and being on it. I like how she's being honest with her. But, well, you know, she's not going to listen. Is he still taking pictures? Come on, mate, it's a bit creepy now. I like you, but that's a bit creepy. Well, didn't you know, didn't he go out like quite a lot of girls before this? So does he actually like, or is he just gonna like fog her off as soon as he has sex with her? We'll find out, I guess, through the story. <sighs> that jealousy. You should probably go home and bail out your mum, mate. Oh, she get like murdered in the same episode, then he gets blamed for it because of the photos. Imagine. Oh, Charles gonna come out. I'm joking. Yep, she's totally gonna die, and he's gonna get blamed for it because of the photos. Oh shit! This is just straight up killer. I guess it would be nearby because it's near the mum's house, isn't it? So it would make sense why it's so close. He's totally getting the blame for that. Mate, a friend just died like that. Mate, it's monsters, not messing about. It's just killing off the characters. Makes it more intense, though. See, what I was doing to him, because it would leave more blood. Is it capturing them or is it just eating them, consuming them completely? No answers and more questions. Just how I like it. Uh, another solid episode of the show, I think, yeah. Pretty good. Made her story, the sister story, now a bit more interesting. They've definitely added a bit more to the bold girl. I don't know. Uh, L. Yeah, she's a bit more, a bit more interesting now. I do like the brother's character. A bit creepy. I stay behind, but those photos are going to come back and bite him in the arse because she's going to go missing now and killed. Obviously, now I think it's going to get serious with the cops because obviously the more stuff that goes on, the more the cops are going to take it seriously. Especially if it was a quiet time before that, and then the people are going to get more involved. Uh, really like the kids. The kids are really well done in this episode. Like I said, they've got all different personalities that all mix together pretty well. You got Mike, Dustin, the other one. The other one tends to be a bit more realistic. Dustin's like good comedy, and he might always like more believable. Looks a little bit smarter than usual because by looks of all the awards, so you can understand if they do do certain things. And then you got Elves Pass, which is pretty interesting. But Kubrick Cloth is obviously being locked up. And then them her mentioned the cop mentioned that she was so scared that she crawled through like a long pipeline just to get out of there. So she must have been treated pretty bad in that facility. But yeah, interesting story. I want to learn more about the demon. I wonder what he looks like. I like how they're not showing you the demon. They're just sort of like giving you silhouettes of it. So he's a lot scarier. Well, not scary, but a lot more intense in that look. You don't know what he looks like. I'm guessing the mum's dead as well, along with that. 
But yeah, and the problem is it's going to all connect to the brother of these murders because the brother, the kid's missing, then the girl's missing, he's got the photos, then his mum goes missing. I think he's going to get the blame for it, but we'll see what the show goes on. But otherwise, thanks for watching with me, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Peace. Mm.